हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ चेतना बोर से योर मैथ्स टीचर स्टूडेंट्स अवर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज गोइंग ऑन टूडे वी विल लर्न एस्टिमेटिंग प्रोडक्ट्स वॉट इज एस्टिमेटिंग प्रोडक्ट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस एस्टिमेटिंग प्रोडक्ट्स इट इज यूजफुल वेन एक्चुअल एग्जैक्ट आंसर इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओके स्टूडेंट्स और वी कैन से दैट इट इज ऑल्सो यूज टू चेक द आंसर ऑप्टेन बाय एक्चुअल मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज रिजनेबल और नॉट ओके सो फॉर दैट टू कैलकुलेट द एस्टिमेटिंग प्रोडक्ट वी आर यूजिंग राउंडिंग मेथड ओके सो फर्स्ट सी बाय राउंडिंग ऑफ टू द नियरेस्ट टेंस Let's take an example of sixty-five multiplied by thirty-two. First, we will find the nearest tens ten to these numbers. So, rounding of nearest ten. we have what is the nearest 10 of 65 yes it's 70 okay students previously we have seen how to find out the rounding of nearest tens nearest hundreds okay next 32 nearest tens of 32 yes it's 30 okay now we will find the estimated estimating of these two numbers estimating product so 70 multiply by 30 see students what we you have to do see how many zeros are there yes two zeros so directly we can put two zeros okay now see 3 sevens are 21 your answer is 2100 see this is the short method or we can say that we are using the property here okay how many zeros are there two zero just write down that zeros those zeros and then multiply these two numbers okay so this is your estimating product okay 2100 now we will Solve actual product. Actual product means what? Sixty-five multiply by thirty-two. Okay. So start multiplication. Two fives are ten. One carry zero add down. Two six are yes, it's twelve. Twelve plus one thirteen. This is tens place, so we put one zero. Three fives are Yes, fifteen. So one carry five will be at down. Three six are eighteen. Eighteen plus one is nineteen. Now do the addition of these two numbers. Zero plus zero is zero. Three plus five eight. One plus nine. Yes, it's ten. So one carry and zero at down. One plus one is two. See two thousand eighty. This is your actual product and 2100 this is your estimated product okay students see the next example 28 multiply by 82 For that, first we will take rounding of to nearest ten. We have what we have twenty eight nearest tens of twenty eight. Yes, it's thirty. And eighty-two. 
Yes, tell me. What is the nearest tens to 82? Yes, it's 80. Now, we will solve the multiplication sum of these two numbers, 30 and 80. So, first we will solve this sum, 30 multiplied by 80. See, how many zeros are there? Two zeros. So, we put two zeros in answer. And eight threes are? Yes, it's 24. So, this is your estimating estimated product. Okay? Now, for comparison, we will solve the actual product. See, we are taking numbers at, as it is, as given in example. So, this is actual multiplication sum. Okay? 2 eights are 16. So, 1 carry, 6 add down. 2 twos are, yes, it's 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now, tens plus, so we put 0. 8 eights are 64. So, 6 carry, 4 will be add down. 8 twos are, yes, it's 16. 16 plus 6, yes, 20. 2. So, now do the addition. 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 4, it's 9. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 2, 2. 2,296, this is your actual product. Okay, students. This is 2,400 is your estimated product and 2,296, this is your actual product. See the next part by rounding off to the nearest 100. In previous, we have seen the by rounding off to the nearest 10 and here we have to find out the estimating product nearest to 100. Rounding off to the nearest 100, okay? So, see this example, 453 multiplied by 152. See, first, we will find round, rounding off to the nearest 100. We get or we have 453. What is the nearest 100 of 453? Yes, it's 500. Okay? And second, 152. What is the nearest 100? Yes, it's 200. Okay? Now, first we will solve the multiplication of these two numbers. Means we will solve the estimating product. 500 multiplied by 200. See student. Again, how many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So directly we can solve that. We will put 4 zeros and 2 5's are. Yes, it's 10. Okay. So what is the answer? 1 lakh. Okay. This is your estimated product. Now, we will solve actual product. 453 multiplied by 152. Okay? So, see. 2 3's are 6. 2 5's are 10. So, 1 carry and 0 will be add down. 2 4's are 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Okay. Now see, 5 tens. So, we put here 1 0. 5 threes are? Yes, it's 15. So, 1 carry, 5 will be add down. 5 fives are? 25. 25 plus 1? 26. Okay? 5 fours are? 20. 20 plus 2? It's 22. Okay, students? Now, 100. 
100. So how many zeros we have to put here? Two zeros. One three is a three. One five is a five. One four is a four. No, and this three numbers. Six plus zero plus zero six. Zero plus five plus zero five. Nine plus six fifteen. Fifteen plus three eighteen. So one carry and eight will be at down. One plus two. 3. 3 plus 5 is 8 and 2 plus 4 is 6. So, 68,856. This is your actual product. Okay, students. This is your actual product and 1 lakh, this is your estimated product. Now students, see this example. 45 multiplied by 35. First, we rounding off to nearest tens. What we have? 45 nearest tens is 50 and 35 Nearest 10 is 40. Suppose we will solve 50 multiplied by 40. What will be the answer? 0, 0 and 5 to 4s are 20. Means this is your estimating product. Okay. Now, suppose we solve actual product. 5 fives are 25. 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. Okay. 3 tens. So we put here 1 0. 3 fives are 15. So 1 carry 5 will be at down. 3 fours are 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Now do the addition. 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. And 2 plus 3 is 5. And 0 plus 1 is 1. See, this is estimated product 2000. And this is 1575 is your actual product. Okay. Now see student. We have, we have seen that there is considerable difference between this 2000 and 1575. Okay. So, instead of this, we can use another technique. Which technique? To reduce the difference between estimated product and actual product, we can use another technique. Which technique? Suppose 45, okay? So, we will write the rounded, rounding of nearest tens. So, 45, this is 50. See, this is our rounding up number. Okay. Here we are rounding up. Means what? 45 is lies in between 40 and 50. So here we take 50. Means rounding up. And second is 35. 35 is lies in between 30 and 40. Okay. Previously we had taken, we had taken that 40. Means rounding up. But here in this case we will take 30. Means we are rounding down. Okay student. Means one number is rounding up and second number is rounding down. So suppose we will solve this sum for 50 multiplied by 30. So what will be the answer? One, two zeros and three fives are 15. Okay. See this is your estimated product. And this is your actual product. See student. Previously we have seen that in that case. Our answer was 2000. 2000. Okay. See the difference. Means the difference.
difference in between these answers are less. So in this way we can use this method that by rounding up one number and rounding down the other number to the nearest 10. Okay students? By rounding up one number and rounding down the other number to the nearest 10. Here we take the another example 46 multiply by 42. So first what we have to do? First we have to take rounding up of nearest 10 of that number. 46. What will be the nearest 10? Yes, it's 50. Here it is rounding up. And second is 42. 42 lies in between 40 and 50. One number we are taken rounding up. So for second number we will take rounding down. Okay. So 40 means this is rounding down. Okay. Now we will solve the product multiplication of these two numbers. So 50 multiply by 40. 1, 2. Two zeros are there. So we put two zeros. 5, 4 is a 20. This is your estimated product. Okay. Now we will solve actual product. 46 multiplied by 42. 2, 6 is a 12. So one carry. 2 will be at down. 2 4s are 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Here we put 1 0. Because here 4 tens are there. So 4 6 are 24. So 2 carry 4 will be at down. 4 4s are 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. So 2 plus 0 2. 9 plus 4. 13. 1 plus 8 is 9 and 0 plus 1 is 1. See 1932 this is your actual product. Okay student estimated product is 2000 and actual product is 1932. Now see the next estimating products by rounding up one number and rounding down the other number to the nearest hundred. Means here we have to solve this sum 743 multiplied by 559 but by finding nearest hundred. Okay. We have to follow the same rules but here only difference is that we have to find out the nearest hundred of the given numbers and then after that we will solve the estimating products. Okay. So for that 743. Tell me which is the 743. It is lies in between 700 and 800. Okay. Suppose we take 700. Means here we are rounding down. Okay. Second, 559. See, 559 is lies in between 500 and 600. 559. So, we will take 600. Means here, we are taking one number rounding up. See, one number is rounding down and it is rounding up. Now, we will solve the multiplication sum of these two numbers 700 multiplied by 600. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many zeros? 4 zeros. Okay. And 6 sevens are 42. So what is your answer? 4,20,000. This is your estimating product. Okay. Now. We will solve actual product. 743 multiplied by 559. 
Now 300 means here we put two zeros. Three two za six. Three four za yes it's twelve. So one carry two will be at down. Three eight za yes it's twenty four. Twenty four plus one is twenty five. Now solve the addition sum. Eight plus zero plus zero eight. Seven plus zero plus zero seven. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 6, 12. So 1 carry, 2 will be at down. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 2, 10. And 10 plus 2 is 12. So 1 carry and 2 will be at down. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 1 carry, 0 will be at down. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, what is your actual product? 3,2278. This is your actual product. Okay, students? In homework, exercise 3.6, page number 43, from questions A, B, C, D, solve the sums 1, 2 and 4 in maths notebook. Thank you.